Welcome back, guys, to Bravely Default 2. Our last episode, we confronted Virgintio, the mighty white holder of the Arcanist Asterisk, whose undead status meant that while he was susceptible to our most powerful healing, he just kept getting back up again. That was until his third fall, as Elvis decided he had had enough, plunging the magical branch he and Roddy had prepared into the fiend's chest, disintegrating him. With the people of Wizworld saved, we attempted to complete some new quests, bringing us to the Frosty Forest, but with higher level packs of enemies awaiting within, we've decided to head to our next destination instead. Savalon. What cruel twist of fate is this? The water's finally received, and now we face another threat entirely. This is the water's receding. Your houses are still underwater, sir. This is not receding. It's better not be receding. I just designed my houses to be underwater. Oh, okay, sure. Totally believe you. 100%. We do not stand a chance of defeating Holograph. We must acquiesce to the request. It is the only way to avoid unnecessary suffering. Surely you must agree, yes? A surrender is the only option? Two council members lost, and at a time such as this? Surely such misfortune cannot be a coincidence. Holograph is a fully fledged military dictatorship. A kingdom such as Savalon would have little chance of victory were war to break out between us. But were we to surrender and join the Empire, on the other hand, we would lose our precious independence. When a decision is made, there can be no doubt in this. It's a historical turning point for our kingdom. I mean, it's a full-scale invasion, so I kind of expect them to fight back. Sovereignty or not. See what I'll grant. The people of Savalon will never agree to be subjugated by foe and power. You agree, yes? Never give in to them! But if you're definitely going to lose, and it would save a lot of life, would that be... It's like, eh... And everyone's just gaming here, having fun. I've heard the gambling is not allowed in Holograd, so Savalon joined the Empire. Does that mean... No, they can't close this place down. But then, if it's goodbye to the gaming hall, it's goodbye to my debts too, right? Woohoo, I'm saved! Here's hoping Savalon surrenders ASAP! I'm not sure how that works. Well, that's how it works. I heard the Holograd grew rich and powerful by severely curbing the freedom of his people. We cannot allow the same thing to happen here. We must never allow ourselves to be ruled by such an oppressive regime. Never! Should we join the Empire or resist with all our might? Both options have their merits, and I shall support whichever makes us richer. A lot of people are thinking this over. I wonder what, like, place the higher level enemies would be in. If there is an order that makes it easier or not. The issue is I just remember crawling through certain high level dungeons. Where we got ourselves a salve maker, of course. Crystal Cap Mountains. That did level us up for the rest of it quite nicely, but still. Either we surrender or we fight. There can be no middle ground. To be honest, hitting an area that get gives, that you can get through within a relatively quick fashion, with an underdog bonus, is a really good way to set yourself up for later. The elders have agreed that the truth of what befell King Orion, Prince Castor and Bernard will be kept secret from the general populace, so we stalk back in the middle of the street. The official explanation will be that all three died of sudden illness, and for once, the council was able to make its decision swiftly and unanimously. What's happening, father? Why is everyone making so much noise and fuss? It is not for you to worry about, child. Now go play with your friends. Tomorrow, many times we come here, the heat never gets any easier to deal with. Oh well, I suppose we're never going to save the world without breaking a sweat, eh? No. Our first port of call should be the palace. Prince Pollux will be able to inform us of the latest developments. Well, this heat is a Savalonian secret weapon. Our enemies will not be able to withstand it. Do your worst, Hologram. We are ready for you. We see a theme with that. <laughs> Currently, but I guess Halcyone doesn't have that. Hmm. No question here. Please proceed in the palace. Prince Pollux is waiting for you. I must thank you for coming to our kingdom's aid in this time of need. We do this a lot. It's my sworn duty to protect and serve Prince Pollux and Savalon, come what may. I must not and cannot think of anything else. Especially being sweaty. And hell. Prince Pollux put me in charge of communications. I'm glad to be able to help. Oh, cool. I mean, that is using your talents, I guess. You have our thanks for coming all this way, Princess Gloria. It's my pleasure, Prince Pollux. Would you mind telling us what's been going on? Of course. 
As I ask Anihal to inform you, the Hologradas have demanded that our kingdom join their empire. I put the matter to the Council of Elders, but alas, they were divided. Things were further complicated when two of the Elders passed away in quick succession. Their deaths were deemed to be suicides, but both men happened to be of the faction opposed to joining the Empire, which is rather suspicious. I'm sure you will agree. You think the Hologradders had them killed? I'm afraid that I do. Hmm. We'll be happy to help in any way we can, of course. Thank you, Your Highness. Perhaps you could speak to some of the Council members. They might be more prepared to open up to one such as yourself. If you like. <laughs> Not all bad news. I mean, there's been some literal murders again. Huh. Ah, okay, so we're looking a wee bit glum. Oh, I must confess the Savalon's current plight does concern me rather. Well, Pollux isn't exactly a seasoned leader, and what with all these elders dying in suspicious circumstances, it, it's a bit of a worry, are you? Yes. Not all bad news, though. I hear they've started work on repairing the parts of the city that were damaged by all that water. And once it's all gone, they'll be able to finish the job. Now, he's good to hear. I hope the repairs continue to go well. Aye, these aren't a people to wallow in despair, either. Business of the game and all is as booming as ever. Really? Even at a time like this? I always say there's four essentials in life. Food, clothing, shelter, and fun. And if they're having fun, it means the other three are covered. I suppose so. Good. Let's get down there and do our bit then. To the gaming hall. Not until the matter of hand is resolved, Elvis. We have duties to perform. Ah, uh, uh, your highness, of course. That's me told. Glory didn't get you for once. All this talk of assassinations has put me a wee bit on edge. Well, I was feeling particularly relaxed before, what the calamities and the monsters and the invasions. The undead and... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The possibility that Hologram has infiltrated the council somehow cannot be discounted. We must find out the truth. I mean, Helio is a good example. Helio. The first order of business is to gather information. Let's track down all the elders and see what they have to say. Anihel does not have extra dialogue. Right, well, let's find these elders then. I'm actually wondering if we're just going to stumble on someone being straight up murdered. This assassination literally takes place in front of us. The deaths of those two elders. They were suicides, were they not? Or are you suggesting otherwise? Well, the circumstances are pretty suspicious. Suspicious, you say? You have been talking to Prince Pollux, I assume. He certainly does not seem to believe that those poor men killed themselves. Well, they were both opposed to joining the Empire, and they both happened to die. You can see why he might believe Holograd had something to do with it. Yes. And I must confess, I am inclined to agree with him. After all, Savalon is as far from Holograd as it is possible to get. An invasion would be a difficult and long-winded affair. I can understand why they would attempt to subdue the kingdom through such machinations instead. Of course, I have not a shred of evidence to support this theory, which puts me in a very awkward position. Though it is nothing compared to the situation in which Prince Pollux has found himself following the death of his brother. It is our duty as elders to support him. Speaking of which, I must attend a meeting. Perhaps we will have the chance to talk again later. Don't get assassinated, Lord Draco. <laughs> that would be inconvenient. The two elders who passed away, they both killed themselves, did they not? Why do you ask? Prince Pollux didn't seem so sure it was suicide. Hmm, well, I do not wish to speak ill of the dead. But we all know what Bernard did, do we not? Subverting the affairs of the nation for his own ends. The elders in question could well have been involved in something similar. I have heard that Holograd takes a very dim view of such activities. Perhaps these men were so afraid of what might happen to them if Savalon joined the Empire, that they took matters into their own hands. Hmm. Could be, I guess. Thanks for your help. How do you feel about joining the Empire, by the way? Are you for it or against it? 
Oh, I am all for it. The alternative is war. The people would suffer terribly. In any case, I am late for a council meeting. I must be on my way. Good day to you. I mean, heavily suspect her. On the basis, not that because she's for it, it's on the basis that she showed up originally with Bernard. Pretty much all that, really. I think that's a good enough reason. Bernard had an asterisk. The asterisk seemed to be supplied from what source? The connection there is a little bit too on the nose, maybe. Maybe that itself is hiding it. What? The dead elders. I have no interest in them. Dwelling on the past will not help us adjust to our new reality. We will soon be part of the Empire. I guess you're in favor of joining, then. Indeed I am. As with any transaction, it is a simple matter of weighing the costs against the benefits. The fact is that our kingdom is in chaos. If we were to make a stand against the Hologradas now, it would be the end of us. Besides... <sighs> but I must be on my way. A council meeting is starting soon. Please, excuse me. Off he goes then. I feel like he's the probably not in on it, probably under the cosh a little bit, but you know, maybe he actually believes that, because again, there is there is an actual reason to do it, to join. Also, it's really random to be Asbel Final Fantasy Origins while playing that PS1. I can't remember if I've, that's one two and three. I don't know if that's I played that on PS1. Did play four, five, six. But I can't remember if Origins is what. Six is, of course, one of the best Final Fantasies by a mile. Who am I talking to here? Up there. I couldn't get back to that question because, of course, we're in the middle of story segment. Wait, did I read this before? I can't remember. I think I didn't. Okay, I think I didn't read this. Hmm. Did I really not read this? Hmm. Well, let's read it again, if we did. Nell's diary. I must confess, I saw them with my own eyes. I was rather dubious of the tale that old girl told us of the crystals, but it seems she spoke true enough. The one certain she had assembled for the assault on Musa. But the gaggle of misfits, I must say. The stone-faced soldiers of Holograd, a bishop of Rheimdall, an artist, all the ridiculous things. I had a pair gifted with asterisks, of course. I wonder if this only just appeared. Because of mentioning the Bishop of Rheimdall, etc. The first of all, the assault was not amusing at all, but a man of Holograd, the Beastmaster Asterix, I acquired from him, made it quite the worthwhile distraction. Hope to gather more in time. Something tells me one can never have too many. And when all was over, the water crystal was mine into the bargain. Salon sits in the palm of my hand. Where to begin? Ah, such fun. Oh, maybe, maybe. I don't know what's going on with Bernard. I'm glad I popped in. It was the curse. It was the curse that killed them. What do you mean? They conspired with Bernard to have their fellow elder, Lupus, tried for a crime he did not commit. They did? So, uh, what happened to Lupus after that? He killed himself. Stabbed himself in the chest with a dagger. Suicide. And now we have two more suicides. Bernard is dead. And now his co-conspirators are dead. Do you not see? This is Lupus's revenge from beyond the grave. It is a curse, I tell you. The thought makes my blood run cold. It chills me to my very core. Well, that seems to be everyone spoken to. He was very emotive about it. Alright, 
right, let's head back up and around them. See where it takes us from here, because again, the question lies into where a dungeon might be found. If there is a dungeon to be found. Apex Predator. That's the Apex! My apologies for keeping you waiting. Lady Sickness asked for my assistance with an issue that has arisen. You have my undivided attention now, however. Tell me, what did you learn from your interviews with the Elders? Lupus, you say? It was his place on the council that Bernard took, and some suspect that he was accused of a crime he did not commit, and that the ordeal led him to take his own life. And you think there might be some truth to this? One of the people we spoke to said that the two elders who died recently were cursed. That it was their punishment for framing Lupus. I shall have to discuss the matter with Dromid. He will know more, I am sure. And fortunately, the Council has just approved my proposal to consult with him on the matter of Holograd's request that we join the Empire. Come, we will visit him in his cell and see what he has to say. Let's just go then. Anihal is still in charge of communications. That will never change. Never, never change. Considering she sits so close to the throne, though. It kind of... Where am I going? Up there. To the prison. Kind of makes it seem of high standing. Especially considering Dromed is in jail. Can I show my party stats and abilities? I mean, most of them are JP up and JP up now. <laughs> Prince Pollux? Is something the matter? Well, no. But did you not enter the dungeon just moments ago? Certainly not. I have just arrived. Oh, no! Come on, we need to hurry. Hmm? But why? I'll explain later. Right now, Dromid's in danger. What in the... Dromid? Hmm? Your Highness, there are two of you. Who's the imposter? So, the time has come, and earlier than expected. The time to kill you all. Wait, what? I'm not ready for this! Where's the dungeon? I see what you mean of me. Prepare to die. Oh. Now you've made me mad. There's an assassin lady. Well, let's go with Fluid Stance and... Because she might attack more single target. And Fluid Left Style. Nice. Want to see what I can really do? Not really. <laughs> I need re-raises stat. Who's better to re-raise at this point? Nothing like a wee pick me up. You are about to witness my true No power. counters seemingly there, which is pretty good. A little magical assistance. No counter, still a straight up attack for a lot of damage. She also dodged the BP down, which really sucks. 
Uh, did it be able to get slowed? No, it's just my turn. Oh, okay. Well, there's a boss. <laughs> Question mark, question mark, 79k HP. Prepare to meet your maker. Not good. Um, I got a haste now, don't I? No, no, I don't know anymore. I right, trip Lara. This is trouble. Weak to light again, but not heals this time, which means actually Elvis is... Elvis is the attack master at this point when I think about it. Time to play my trump cards. I guess I'll white mage. Uh, get the cure, and then also get the health bringer up. I've got two re raises on the two possible healers, and that grants me some kind of protection as well. Do I even have my specialty on? Oh my goodness! Did I forget about that? Well, this sucks. Well, at least you're defending, I guess. That's not too bad. I mean, I surely have some, yeah, ruined mageling there. Have some light banishkas. So that's going to be helpful, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Thankfully, that haste is allowing you to chuck through a bit faster. It's like you completely avoid the damage. She goes completely through it, doesn't she? She ignores armor. Or she's just that strong. Hopefully you don't count the healing. She's going fast, and she probably counts physical, and she's probably just very dodgy. Again, I'm just trying to get re-raise up on everyone at this point. When opponent performs buffs, so she does count at one of these. I live to fight another day. Let me at him. She had been avoiding them thus far. The problem really is for me is... I'm not got the right... I, I mean, if I had thingy, that would be fine. Thingy being... This will do it. <laughs> Back in the game. Can't attack because he's default oh. currently. Huh? I grow bored of this. Time to withdraw. Huh. She just vanished. Crikey. What was that? A, a ghost? Something to do with this curse? No, nothing of the sort. Whoever she was, she dropped her necklace. It seems you arrived just in time. You have my thanks. But why come after me? I guess somebody wants you out of the way. It seems you know more of the circumstances than I. Would you care to explain? Forgive us, Dromed. The kingdom finds itself in dire need of your wisdom. I see. Much has been afoot. Indeed. And I would hear your thoughts. How should we proceed, old friend? Well, from what you have told me, there would seem to be little doubt that Holograd has been engaging in clandestine activity within the kingdom. Perhaps I am an obstacle to their scheme in some way, hence their attempt to eliminate me. It must be something you know, something vital to their plans. Indeed. But what? The bulk of my knowledge concerns the history and governance of Savalon. If we can deduce what it is they believe I know, we might be able to make some sense of all this. 
Only the Council knew that I was coming here to meet with Dromed, which means an Elder is responsible. But what could they have been so keen to keep you from telling me? Let's go and talk to them all again, eh? The culprit's bound to let something slip eventually. The assassin's necklace has been obtained. I'm glad she went away. She does seem to have some straight up avoiding armor ability or something along those lines. That first 900 hit, fine. It's still 900 on the armor, most armored person we have there. And then just all the follow-ups, like some serious damage she had. But we survived. We were doing the setup. Now she's gone. Intrigue. And yes, we do best keep Dromed. We do best? We best keep Dromed with us. It's just the the only way to really go with that. Who knows what might happen next? We do best keep Dromed, yes. Words. They escape me. They're hard. Who done it? <laughs> I think it was the lady that can go through floors and didn't even need to impersonate the other prince. Why? Didn't even need to impersonate Pollux. I can't stop thinking about the suicides of these elders. There just isn't any way that it's a coincidence. Yeah, it's got to be something to do with the ones who want to join the Empire and the ones who don't, right? Which would suggest that a member of the council was behind it all. Right, which is why I did a little research on them all. So Cygnus and Delphinus are what you might call the pro-Empire faction. We've already met Cygnus. She seems to be a pretty serious sort of person. And Delphinus, well, he sounds like the opposite. Rumor has it he likes to gamble. A lot. Then there's Draco. He's kind of a fence-sitter. Basically, it will go along with whatever Prince Pollux decides. And finally, there's Leo. He's against joining the Empire, but... But? Well, it sounds like all kinds of rumors have been flying around about him since the other elders died. So where to begin? I mean, the stabby lady that can go through the floor. I mean, it's not like we can find her. What are we going to do? Dig loads of holes? That would be funny if ever if that ever was the actual solution that a game came up with. She can go in the floor. Quick, dig up the holes. <laughs> what? The elders who supposedly killed themselves were assassinated by hologradders. That is quite a claim. And I have little to say in response. Please understand. I am in favor of joining the Empire. It is the best way to avoid a war. It will also create numerous trading opportunities for Savalon. It is not ideal. And to reach this conclusion was not easy. But life does not consist of easy decisions. You would do well to remember that. Can you talk to him again? I guess the same dialogue, right? What? The elders who supposedly oh, you can actually hear it again. were assassinated by hologradders. That is quite a claim. <laughs> and I have little to say in... Please understand. I am in... F it will also creep. It is not... I, I can't skip. I mean, he's not wrong. There's like multiple angles to this. <laughs> but again, there's literally a person here assassinating the other elders. And you're just going, eh. As long as it's not me. You want to know who owns that necklace? Okay. We'll help you. Can you give it here? He says it smells of deer. Deer? How come? I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Deer. Sure. The elders did not commit suicide, you say? They were murdered by hologradders. That's right. And they tried to murder Dramed too. Luckily, we got there first. The assassin dropped this necklace. Hmm. It is a valuable clue, no doubt, but I am afraid it means nothing to me. But wait. Dogs and other animals can use the sense left on personal items to trace their owners. Can they not? Perhaps something similar might yield results. What does Delphinus mean? 
It's just like the, the realize that you got, we got Cygnus, so Swan. And we got Draco, so Dragon. We got Leo, so Lion. Delphinus over there. Smells like deer. So everyone's like themed. For, forgive me. I am too busy to speak with you at the moment. Bye. Mm. What is it, Gloria? Oh, nothing, I'm sure. It was just her perfume. It had the rather unique aroma of musk. Musk? What's that? It is an extract from a certain type of deer, prized for its unique fragrance. Hard to come by in Savalon, I should imagine. I wouldn't think that there are very many people who wear it. Well, that spoiled that. <laughs> Man, I was like, being, oh, maybe it's something to do with it. No. <laughs> Shut up, Sam. I mean, Delphinus does sound dolphin like, but I'm like, I'm going to be like, Fingy, what is dolphin? I'm just going to, like, search up on the, the, the Googles. D Delphinus. Delphinus. It is dolphin. Yes. <laughs> well, I didn't want to be sure because I was like, oh, okay, then that's that, and then that's that. <laughs> so we've kind of spoiled things in terms of like. I just wanted to make sure. Can you re clarify the just deer again? You want to know who owns that necklace? Okay. Can you give it here? Not really helping. Anything else? I have so many, I have so much action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, knowledge. He says it smelled deer. I don't know. I didn't want to assume that Delphinus was dolphin, though. That was the problem. I would have stumped for it, but that was the one I couldn't be a hundred percent certain. Mainly because Leo, Toleko, and Cygnus are a bit too redonkously obvious. about Lupus? Very well. He was a good man, diligent and honest to a fault. That is why Bernard and his partners in crime were able to take advantage of him as they did. It was perhaps merciful that his wife had already passed away, but it meant that his death left their only daughter orphaned. A terrible business. The full details of the family and all that came to pass are sure to appear in the kingdom's official records. Dromed will be able to tell you more, no doubt. Hmm. I mean, that's obviously got to be somewhere along the line. A missing daughter? No way, I know that lupus is wolf or lupine. We're good there. That's another silly, obvious one. Just at that point in time, the doubt fell on Delphinus on the basis I was like, Oh, maybe it's in the name. <laughs> maybe it's in the name. And it wasn't. That's where the element of doubt came in, anyway. I said I would have plumped for Dolphin. But the others were I nailed on, so I was like, oh, maybe that one isn't Dolphin. Dolomed, are you here now? Yeah, Dolomed, I need to speak to you. Is that the necklace you recovered from the floor of my cell? Would you mind if I examined it more closely? My word, this is Lupus's family crest. But why was my would-be assassin in possession of such an item? So I guess we know the identity of her. She's of the Lupus line. Or 
Maybe not. I mean, the suspicion falls on sickness. Well, have you identified the traitor? I mean, yes. Oh my god. What if I fail? Someone's just going to get assassinated and it goes game over. That'd be hilarious. So the assumption is, did it say like the daughter and the wife? We're fine. So is Cygnus quite just possibly lupus? You have. Excellent. I shall call an emergency meeting of the council immediately. Thank you all for gathering here at such short notice. As you are well aware, the Council recently lost two of its members. I am sorry to inform you that there is a strong likelihood they were killed by agents of Holograd. However, with the assistance of Dromed and Princess Gloria, we have managed to unmask the traitor. If you would. Thank you, Your Highness. We'll take it from here. First of all, it is important to note that the two elders who were murdered were... Right, against joining the Hologram Empire. Of course, their assassin could only have known this if they had infiltrated the council. The killer then turned their attention to Dromid. Why? Well, he must have had knowledge of something from the kingdom's past that the killer would have preferred not to be made public. In order to attempt the assassination, the traitor disguised themselves as Prince Pollux, knowing the guards would be expecting him. However, not everybody knew that the prince was due to visit Dromed. In fact... I mean, absolutely no one knew. I actually don't know this one. <laughs> I mean, you could say that only the council knew, but if... I'd have thought only the prince knew. So we only just literally decided it at the time. Wrong. Wait, that isn't right. <laughs> Let's try again. No! I didn't hear you say anything about a council! Why would you tell the council? I thought we well, just went there. Have you identified the traitor? You could tell it's like seven hours into a stream, right? Brain no work no more. You have. Excellent. I shall call an emergency meeting of the council immediately. This is not the good time Thank for brain. You all for gathering here at such short notice. As you are well aware. Okay. Fail. I am sorry Fail. to inform. However. Fail. Thank you, Fail. Right. We'll go for one. First of all, it is important yeah, yeah, yeah. to know they were against the Grand Empire. Of course, their assassin could only have known this if they had infiltrated the council. The killer d Why? In order Let's to get back to where we were. However, not everybody knew that the prince was so only the council knew. Dromid. In fact, he got permission from it. Well, I obviously did not remember that. Why would he have to tell them? He's the prince. Luckily, we were able to intercept the assassin. Less luckily, they were able to escape. However, they dropped something in the process. And uh, the murder weapon. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> stabs with a necklace. It was a necklace. And this necklace has a very distinctive smell. The smell of perfume. The same perfume worn by... Delphinus. <laughs> Cygnus. Too middle, too top. It's you, Lady Cygnus. You're the traitor. <laughs> well, Lady Cygnus, would you care to explain yourself? Did you really do this? And if so, why? Revenge for my father. You mean you are Maya, Lupus's daughter? Not anymore. I am Marla now. But why? Why all this? I told you. Revenge. I killed the people who killed my father. The Lord Commander gave me an asterisk, that of the Phantom, and I used it well. But enough talk. Time to die, Prince Pollux. Get back, Your Highness! I mean... This isn't good. She was Ready trouncing us last time. Prepare to 
die. Now you've made me mad. <laughs> and she's still hitting really hard. <laughs> How do I make this happen? Obviously, we've already got the... No, we don't have the scan because now she's Marla. Before she was not. Want to see what I can really do? Why is she so strong? <laughs> I do to counter this crazy damage if anything obviously I want to get re-raises up now but I also need to get her up too you can rely on me this favor will not you be are forgotten. about to witness my true I haven't power. met an enemy in ages that straight up one-shots me. It's just not happened. And now I'm meeting them. Well, that's a bit daunting. Does that feel better? It's time to get serious. Uh, so how do I proceed? Better cover up. Prepare to meet She's going to start leader. charging up to do her crazy stuff. Spirits protect us. Please don't counter buff. Now you've made me mad. I need Elvis and I need him fast. And that damage is sick. And she's going in again now, by the way. Obviously, I need my more re-raises. It's the problem, too. Her damage output is nasty. That's bad, eh? How thoughtful of you. This will do it. Ah, much better. You are about to witness my true power. And she's gone up one more tier. Let me help you. This is going to be a right problem, this is. Nice. Assuming she'll attack me. Nope, she just completely nobbled Gloria. <laughs> she goes so fast, too. How do I make this stop? I don't even know if I can like cast stop on her and stuff. That's a problem. Lend us your power. Hey, I'm talking. Want to see what I can really do? Boy. <laughs> Once I got re raises up, I guess I'm a little bit better off. Yeah, assassins usually are quite speedy. Yeah. Now you've made me mad. 
Please attack me so you can lose BP. A welcome intervention. Come and get it. Literally what I'm hoping for right now. Oh damn! Just hit that first one. Look at it! It's just silly damage. You are about to witness my And she's going again! <laughs> I can't help but shout at this point in time as well, because it's just mental. Sacred powers restore you. If she could just hit the fluid, the fluid left style, I'd be sorted. I would be a lot better off for it. I'm not just a dab hands we are waiting for. It's time to get serious. Okay, everyone has re-raise. Nice. Let me. I ran out of aggravate. Finally. In your face. Ah, much better. Prepare to meet your maker. Now it's starting to work a little bit more. So she's taking X damage. She's actually minus a turn. Here we go. We might be able to work off of this. Holy Spirit, heal me. Sorry to be a pain. Want to see what I can really do? That's better, eh? I keep making sure I've got buffs up, though. Hollis might have to end up throwing out stuff, but man, get it. Godspeed Strike might be incredibly helpful for me in the future. I could try to change some specials, but then I never know when they might just be randomly talking. I need to aggravate too. I live to fight okay, here we go. We're set up. You are about to witness my true power. We would expect her to do stuff like that, so that's fine. At the moment, all the damage is shuffling through all this. Oh my god, Elvis only just survived. I have killed the men who betrayed my father. Now I will destroy Savalon itself. No one will stand in my way. No one. Let me at him. Barely, 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 barely surviving that with the default. Prepare for impact. If it wasn't for Ollis, we'd be screwed. But thank God for counter savvy as well. So we're about to we're about to put in 12k damage thanks to that one godspeed strike. Do I want to try using Holy? Oh no, she's faster now. A welcome intervention. I, I... Oh my God! Oh, that's all this. So, does she go through default as well? <laughs> does she go through default too? <laughs> yeah, without re-raise, we're dead. Want to see what I can really do?
Luckily, we've got enough extra turns for more re-raises at this point. I accept I'm out of MP. I think the re-raises are more important, considering we should get more turns before then. I'm somehow going to need to fuel him with more stuff. And health bringer needs to go on in the future too. Oh, here we go. I'm not just a dark hand with a weapon, you know. Come and get it. Oh my god, that blooming counter. My plan was to just try and straight up finish it because that's only like that feels like the only way now. Lord Adam is the only one who cared for me. He is the only ruler I would ever follow, and I will gladly give my life for his cause. Prepare to meet your maker. I would gladly ask you to stop doing the stupid. Everyone is ready to go again. Elvis should be able to heal everyone with his special, correct? three of these. Prepare for impact. I need to hit them all I've got some something for you. and now survive. I missed the last one. No up now, all right? All right, there's four Godspeed strikes coming in. Now, pay close attention. I've got some defensive buffs, but I don't even know if they mean anything. Oh my god, Elvis just died. I can barely hang in there myself. I'm out of ma MP. All this is back and go. Oh my god, I'm actually having to like just go with a strategy of <laughs> somehow just hanging on long enough. Yeah. Sacred powers restore you. Oh, that was a close one, eh? Holy spirits heal me. I need Olives to go and I need him to get fueled. 
<laughs> my god. It just keeps going down every two seconds. Hey, try this. I needed that. Let me at him. I've got to get hits and I need to kind of crit one. Okay, now I just need to survive. I just need to survive. All is lived. Please, you must get up. <laughs> I just need to survive long enough now. <laughs> Elvis is not going to get experience for this boat. Forgive me, Lord Commander. Sure, Sorry, Elvis, you're missing out on the goodies. No we'll give you JP up orbs, honest. Hooray. That All was right, a different Elvis. kind of battle. She really meant to kill us. But thanks to Godspeed Strike and Re-Raise, just them out. <laughs> <laughs> Press try though, yeah. <laughs> the Phantom. Phantoms are lethal dagger specialists. Yes, they are. Capable of moving so unbelievably fast that enemies are often unable to react. Yes. Never ending nightmare. Perform an extremely powerful physical attack on a target. If the target is defeated, another action can be performed. So that was what was going on. Become the lightning. Increase the use of physical and magic attack by 25% for three turns. That's could not be increased beyond 200% of their base value. Yikes. That was a battle. I failed. I am useless. A disgrace. Wait, no! Thanks to Anihal, we have located the remains of the real Lady Sickness. It would appear that the imposter was in place for quite some time. Forgive me, your highness. I only wish I had not been so blind to the deception that was taking place. You have nothing to apologize for, Dromed. Indeed, without your invaluable insight, the stranger in our midst would never have been unmasked. I hope that you see now how much we need you as our... I cannot, in good conscience, return to my former role, Your Highness. My actions were unbecoming of a royal record keeper, unbecoming of any decent citizen, truth be told. I deserve and desire to remain imprisoned. I hope you understand. If that is what you wish, Stromed, then I shall not stand in your way. Though I hope that in time you will feel ready to return to your rightful place. And you, Princess Gloria, what do you intend to do next? Savalon may be safe for now, Your Highness, but other kingdoms remain in danger. And while we cannot know for certain until we've investigated further, my suspicion is that this is all Holograd's doing. I mean to go to those kingdoms' aid, just as we came to yours. I see. Princess Gloria, you and your friends have come to Savalon's rescue not once, but twice now. It is only fitting, therefore, that we attempt to return the favor. Would you permit me and my people to assist you in your quest? You would really do this for us? Of course. Though, naturally, with the Council in chaos, I doubt we will be able to act immediately. Still, I am sure I will eventually be able to persuade the Elders to lend you our full support. Thank you, Your Highness. That would be very much appreciated. Well, there we go. We've gained some more help. A party chat comes. Uh, we should probably just pick up a certain someone from the ground, though, first of all. <laughs> Feels a bit mean, even though I could just go to a thingy. I don't want to leave him on the floor. <laughs> there we go. He's healed. <laughs> Savalon's future. Seems like Savalon's going to be having a tough time of it for a little while. Aye, there's not even enough elders for the council to function. What do you think will happen? 
New elders will have to be selected. The council cannot sit until it has the required number of members to do so. And who are they going to choose? Local bigwigs, that kind of thing. Prince Pollux and the remaining elders will draw up a shortlist. They will then discuss the candidates among themselves before making a final decision. Sounds like a pain in the neck. Surely there's a simpler way of doing it. It's worth taking the time to do things right when the future of a nation's at stake. After all, they don't want to go pick in another Bernard. Good point. Ah, I forgot you know about these things, Elvis. You've been a big wig yourself. Ah, some of my relatives helped found Wizard, that's all. It's not such a big deal back home, honestly. Anyway, there are times when even big wigs have to forget about the ins and outs of politics and think about their people instead. Indeed, recent events must surely have shown the elders how precar precarious their positions can be. But if Holograd's actions have done one good thing, it's the bringing together the people of Savlon in the face of an invader. Yeah, no one's going to want to join forces with a country that's been killing their council members. And there will be no need to do so. I have faith in the people of Savlon and in Prince Pollux. Well, it's a fate that we only just managed to survive, man. Look, has a highly advanced military power. True probably prefer not to have to do battle with them. These underhanded assassinations could not go unpunished, and so do battle we must. Let's discuss with the council how best to deal with the threat from Holograd. I'd be grateful if you could wait while we deliberate. Yes, we have a new class, the Phantom. We can now pair it with Thief to become a Phantom Thief. What do we got here? So the Achilles Seal. Any physical or magic attack that successfully exploits an enemy's weakness has a 50% chance of inflicting critical damage. Oh, 50% up. I am sure she was just she, so she wasn't just going for default and all that. Strike a single enemy with a powerful physical attack, which adds evasion and crit. Use attack command occultism. Attack command is an option there, is it? S for daggers. The speed would be insane as a game. We've got the recurring nightmare to allow you to use another action. Become the lightning, dream within a dream, form three quick physical attacks on a target. We've got the shroud, perform a powerful darkness imbued physical attack on a target, so she was hit in darkness. Milk poison, form a physical attack that's extremely effective against poison targets. We have critical amp, so critical hit damage is increased by 30%. Enables the user to evade a single physical attack as flit. Sick twist, perform a physical attack that's extremely effective against targets suffering from contagion. Give someone that. Evading attack will cause BP to increase by one is turn tables. Now that's a green ability. So that's pretty cool. If leading a stat someone on a target will be rewarded with an extra action. Cool. Dual wielding. Equipping multiple weapons will not reduce their effectiveness. And then never ending nightmare. The one that if they're defeated and never action can be performed. Single quick physical versus an extremely powerful physical attack. That was nightmarish enough. Now, I feel like we should plug in a little bit to Elvis to make him feel a little bit better after the fight. That's yeah, probably the next main thrallers, yeah. So, if we give him four medium JP orbs, that's what he missed. Elvis learns a rise. So that's 600 base plus JP up and up plus JP up. And the large ones we can give to Gambler class and maybe level that up a little bit. So should I just quickly go over to it? Plug him in. I don't even really want to have the Jamba class in the end. Mm. I don't even know why I'd do it for that. But I can farm my own stuff. The only thing he's going to miss is the experience, sadly. Right, by 1,275. Bold Gambit was learned. Rare Talent was learned. And then one more. And I probably shouldn't use the next one on that. That's high roller, so if you use some medium JP orbs, he will level that up too. So that works out. So let's switch Oliver's back to Hunter for Nail. He got rare talent at the very least. The likelihood of enemies dropping rare items increased by 10%. High roller can do an extremely powerful physical attack for 10,000 PG. Dealer's choice was coming up. Can affect enemies, allies, or both. Not a class I intend to use, but let's just max it at one person, because of course it powers up Freelancer by the look of it. That's why all those big stat gains there, they're insane. If I ever had a hard bat boss battle and you just want to get through it, just switch to Freelancer or something at this point. Or, well, a maxed Beastmaster. Seems to be quite a lot there too. So yes, I see Phantom in Oz's near-time future, don't you? 
So that's about it for this episode. I'm actually now considering going through that dungeon. The frozen forest on the basis of leveling myself up a bit. Just in case there's harder enemies to come. That said, there's probably not going to be another quest, at least during the daytime. Let's rest, hope no one assassinates me, and leave it here for another session of Brody Default, where a lot has happened. We actually got through two parts of this chapter thus far, so we'll see how much it takes us, because we've just got Halcyonia left. And there we go. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's me for another session of Bravely Default 2. Have a great night or a great rest of your day, wherever you are across the world. As I say, bye-bye.